What's good, sneakerheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a sneaker review for a shoe that just came out today. One of my favorite silhouettes of all time. Air Jordan 10, cool gray. Air Jordan 10, the reason why it's my favorite shoe, man, it's durable. I mean, this is a daily shoe that I can just wear and beat and you can wipe it off and it still look good. Um, it's one of my favorite shoes to actually hoop in. Uh, I hoop in these sneaks. Uh, I hoop in the uh, double nickels all the time. I hoop in my bulls, bulls over bar ways. And no matter what, it's just the way this shoe was constructed, man. I, I love the fit. It's snug. Uh, it can take a beating and keep going. And finally, Jordan decided to put the cool gray on this sneaker. Uh, cool gray got, became popular. Back when they started putting cool gray on, the, of course, the 11s, the 9s, shoes like that to where everyone went crazy for them back in the day when they came out. Uh, they've done different variations of the lows and the highs of that shoe. Um, and they decided to put it on the 10. Um, basic old, I mean, 10 is like one of the most generic shoes. Like, it's very simple. Now, I don't want to say generic. It's very simple, man. Uh, it's simple in design. I mean, you have right now you have your all gray silhouette, all gray silhouette with the suede on the midsole. You got everything all gray. Uh, what I did like to see though, besides most of most of the cool grays came in your gray, your dark gray, and your white. I like that they put color on this shoe. They put a variety of colors: the white, purple, black, yellow, orange, red, and blue. I love that. Um, it just makes the shoe stand out more. I think if they wouldn't have put it on there and just would have had the gray and the white on the bottom, it still would be a nice shoe, but I think this gave it a little pop. When you're walking, you kind of see, you know, like, okay, that's a that's a nice shoe. You got the different colors. Um, it's just a, it's a really nice shoe. Uh, this shoe comes out at the price point of 190 That's my only complaint. Um, this shoe's not gonna, you, you can rush out and go get this shoe right now, but it's not, it's gonna sit. It's gonna go to an outlet. They're not gonna sell out. They're not, they're not of a hyped shoe. And that, that's fine with me because I will, I can't wait to double up on this sneaker at an under retail price. I would definitely, definitely cop this shoe. No questions asked. It's simple. A lot of people don't like it, but I don't go for what other people like. I go for what I like. And I like the simple look of it. That's why I think I like the ones. I like the 11s. They're nice and simple. You know, they you don't have to do too much. You don't have to put too much on the snoot on the shoe. It's, it's just a classic. Now the question is, well, I cop this shoe. When it me when it comes down to me buying shoes, it goes off of four different criteria. A, do I even like the shoe? Because I don't buy off of just hype. I don't buy just because someone says you got to have it or it's the cop of the year and the shoe be ugly. No, I don't buy it. I buy what I like. Two, will I get wear out this shoe? That's the big question. Will I be wasting my money by buying a shoe that I'm going to wear probably two, three, four times a year? I'm going to wear with a specific outfit. Will I get wear out this shoe? Three, the quality of the sneaker. Hey, <laughs> some of these sneakers they be coming out Every company is guilty of it. They rushed production. They have them been, been produced, them, have them sitting in the factory. You have the mold problems. Look at the up tempos, Supreme up tempos when they came out. So many quality issues of that shoe. Four, will they sit? That's the number one question. Will they sit? Will the shoe sell out? Will it be a hyped up shoe like the Black Sea Mist Freezer? I feel that will sell out. Or will it be like these? Or, you can come down months down the line and pick this shoe up for under retail and sometimes double up. So when it comes to this shoe, this would definitely will be a delayed cop. Uh, I love the shoe. I ran rave about the shoe. It's my favorite silhouette. I've been waiting for the cool gray to come to this uh, silhouette. I love the shoe. I love the details of the shoe. But I know this will sit and I can get this shoe a couple months down the line and definitely get this shoe under retail and be happy. I don't like the price point of 190. Uh, it's the, the Jordan 
the Jordan game has been watered down so much with different colorways, different everything, just different colorways, random colorways, reusing of the shoe, reselling of the shoe, that you don't water it down. That a price point on one ninety is, is is high. Let's be real. Like unless you just got money for days, one ninety is high when you're talking about three or four releases a, a month. So. If this shoe ain't something, this shoe is not going to be a shoe that everyone runs out and go gets. Everybody runs out and just says, you know, we have to have it. So, in my opinion, why not wait a couple months? What's the big deal? You will have the shoe in your collection at a very, at a reasonable price. So, with all that being said, if you do feel like you just have to go cop and this shoe is not, you know, put, released in your area, the links for this shoe will be down in the description. Please like, comment, and subscribe for this video. Check out for more updates on my channel. I do sneaker reviews weekly. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned. Be easy.